watching, it's Abigail here, and I am here with Ryan Stevenson, who is coming to the West Liberty Labor Day celebration. How's it going, Ryan? I'm doing good. Just hanging out, enjoying this, uh, enjoying this cool kind of overcast day out here in Tennessee. Yeah, yeah. So, how's, how are you holding up right now? We're in the middle of a crazy... <laughs> Crazy year. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'm holding up. We're actually doing great. We are healthy and happy and just we're not wigging out about anything. We're uh, just surrounded by community and everybody. I feel like everybody in our circle is just kind of over the whole thing. And we're kind of trying to get back to a little bit and excited about excited about the future and just thankful for this sweet time that we've had just slowing down and resetting and um, it's actually been it's actually been a really great sweet season with my family and with the Lord and just with community yeah that's really good to hear yeah <laughs> very good perspective on it so people are going to want to get to know you a little bit obviously with everything going on we can't really do meet and greets or anything like that so Let's just kind of take this time to let whoever's watching get to know you a little bit. So let's start from the beginning. How did you get started in music? Um, well, I guess my, I really, I started playing the drums in the third grade. So I'm really a drummer. That was kind of my primary instrument. When I was 18 years old uh, for a graduation present from high school, my youth leader gave me an, an acoustic guitar. And that was kind of the, a real turning point for me. I didn't know how to play. I didn't, I didn't sing. I didn't know what I was doing. So, and it was kind of confusing that he would give me a guitar instead of a drum set. Uh, but I, it, I just picked it up and I just fell in love with playing the guitar and learning to use my voice and, and writing. I started writing songs and, um, so I think it was kind of pretty much around 18 years old, my freshman year of college, that I really developed a, a passion and a love for not just music, but songwriting and communicating messages of hope and testimony and, and, and the word of God through music, because I saw how much of a, much, how much it stirred me and how much it moved me closer to God. And I, and I just wanted to use music in a way as a vehicle to facilitate encounter for other people. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. So a few years ago, your song, I have the storm blew up everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Lots of people were listening to it. It was a really big hit and still is. People still love that song. Can you tell me a little bit more about the story behind that song and how that came to be? Sure. Um, well, it's really just a testimony. You know, I, I, I write all my songs and I write about what's going on in my life and in the lives of people who are close to me. And, um, and really every moment of that song, every line, every verse, every lyric is essentially a representation of something that was stirring in me and going on in my life and my personal life and my family or some of my friends. And, you know, a little bit of the backstory too is that I worked as a, I was a paramedic for a lot of years. And so it was easier, it was, it was easy to write a song about just the human condition and what people actually go through. You know, I worked with people on the streets, in the back of an ambulance, in, in, you know, unsafe neighborhoods and people caught up in addiction and suicide and domestic violence and incredible health problems or, you know, severe loss and tragic events, life altering chaos. I, I lived that for years, bearing witness of it in, in other people's lives and in my own. And so when I wrote Eye of the Storm, I just, I wanted to, that song came really fast. I mean, we, we wrote it in about a half hour and it was, it was just refreshing and easy to write because it was just, true it was just so real to me it was like everything was just on the tip of my tongue like I could just speak it out and it was it was just a testimony about life and that's how it kind of came to be 
Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, life, life happens. Things are crazy sometimes. And for people to have something to relate to, like that song, it can be very powerful. Yeah, totally. Yeah. So in general, what is your writing process like? It's, you know, just, it's just contemplative. I don't, I, I don't use a lot of metaphors. I'm not, I'm not kind of one of those, uh, I'm, I don't use a lot of analogies, but I'm more of kind of, I guess, a blue collar songwriter. I just, I like to write songs that the language is accessible, that is understandable for people. And my songs probably sound pretty simple, um, but that's just who I am. And that's how I communicate with people is in a coffee shop kind of way. It's just in a, a diner, cafe, coffee shop kind of way, just I want to just always be really conversational. So I write my songs conversational and easy to understand. So people don't have to sit around and think about, I wonder what he was talking about there. It's just plain, but with, with heart. Yeah, that's great. And sometimes even the most simplest thing can be huge. Yeah. Can speak to people. That's Amen. awesome. So your latest album is called Wildest Dreams, correct? Yeah. So what inspired that album? Just being at this place in my life, you know, I'm 41 years old. Uh, I have three kids. My wife and I have been married 18 years. Uh, just the, what, has, what the Lord has done in our life and the journey that he's had us on and, and how he's walked with us and he's stayed just so incredibly faithful and incredibly close, even through, even through the storms of our lives, you know, um, we, and we've had a bunch of them. What is where we are now at this moment? And I'm not saying that we're void of any storms or any, any conflict, but just my eyes are just open to how good God is all the time. And it's just, it blows my mind how, how amazing this all, this all is, how the, the reality that I get to do what I do and that I get to live my dream, that I get to play music and minister to people and, and share messages of hope through music and song is like beyond my wildest dreams. And so this whole record and this, this batch of songs is, is just kind of giving thanks to God for who he is in my life and, and just hopefully declaring that, um, to everybody that he 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 blows our mind he's just that good and, and that we should all just live in in that posture of gratitude yeah well it's awesome i was listening to it just now before we hopped on this interview and very good song so everybody go check that out because it's really good <laughs> <laughs> thank you um you also have a new book yeah yeah can you tell us more about that Sure. I mean, it's just, it's, it's called Eye of the Storm. And it's, it's simple. It's just, you know, an autobiography. I wrote down the story of my life and just kind of laid out the journey of where I was born and raised to right now. And uh, I've had, I've had a pretty unconventional, quirky, strange kind of journey into this whole thing. And, and my life has been um, very unconventional very 11th hour nothing really makes sense nothing has ever happened the way you think it should or the way I thought it should or the way anything would make sense it's just it's been so brilliantly orchestrated by God and so I just wanted to to, to write it down and I didn't I didn't want to write a book I never had any intention of doing that but when I started writing down my story it just kind of kept coming out and I couldn't shut it off so I, I wrote it all down and there it is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I will have to check that out. I know it's, it's out now, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yeah. So we'll have to encourage everybody else to check that out as well. Uh, will you be bringing those books to the show? I will. I'm going to bring someone. Great. Great. Awesome. Okay. And then another thing, you also have a podcast out. Yeah. Yeah, so what inspired that, and what is that all about? You know, it's called Weathering the Storm. 
a lot of storm references going on, but you know, just that's just kind of been the the uh, overarching kind of umbrella of my life the last several years is being aware of the storms of life, but knowing knowing the calm and the comfort and the healer in the middle of all of our stuff. And again, the the my podcast weathering the storm is is all about testimonies. It's just me sitting down with other people who have who have lived through some serious stuff, um, who have lived through tremendous storms and have a powerful testimony. And they're sharing these things about their lives and they're sharing their testimony and their story. And it's so healing. It's so life-giving. It's, um, and I know the times that I've been healed and changed the most in my life is when I've heard the testimonies and confession and, and the stories of other people who are walking normal lives and they're living in the tension of of this world and it's just in so inspiring to me. So that's what it's about. Um, I, would, I would really encourage everybody to go listen to the podcast. The, the guests that I have on there, their testimonies are so powerful. Yeah, absolutely. And where can everybody find that? Anywhere you listen to a podcast. Um, K-Love, Access More is, is the main platform, but if um, you can find it pretty much anywhere. It's just called Weathering the Storm. Okay. So you have a lot going on right now. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to stay busy as much as I can. So is there anything that's coming up? Any new projects? Uh, you know, we're, I mean, I'm writing songs every day, trying to, trying to keep writing. Um, we are playing some concerts here and there and Earlier this summer, I started a thing called Ryan Stevenson's Backyard Summer Concert Series, where we just started going playing private shows, private concerts in people's homes and backyards and living rooms. And so we've been pretty busy with that all summer long. So we kind of haven't, we took a little bit and we slowed down and we, we rested for about a month or two. Uh, but when July hit, I knew we needed, to, we needed to get back at it. I was going a little stir crazy. <laughs> yeah I think everybody was yeah yeah so okay kind of switch in a little bit switching the conversation here's some fun questions if you could collaborate with anybody dead or alive who would it be mm. man I would say either Michael Jackson or Ooh, that's such a good question. I should have been more prepared. I would have loved to at least try to do a song with Michael Jackson. He was kind of my hero growing up. <laughs> cool. All right. Uh, what's your favorite color? Well, I'm severely colorblind, so I think it's blue. Okay, good to know. <laughs> Not a lot of people know that. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. What song is out there right now that you wish you had written? Hmm. Probably the song by Louis Capaldi called Someone You Loved. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Very cool. And if you could play anywhere, what would be your dream venue to play? Probably Red Rocks in Colorado. I just went there to tour it the other I, day. I really want to play there someday. I think that'd be really fun. It was incredibly beautiful. Yeah. I'd love to see a show there sometime. We'll do it. Um, and what is your favorite Bible verse? Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, which says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge him, and he will direct your paths. Awesome. And how can we as a staff and the listeners be praying for you right now? And just protection for my family and myself and for just health provision, uh, just that we would, we would just stay protected as a family. I mean, that's, that's all I could ever ask for is, is for my family to just be uh, taken care of and protected. Okay. Well, I know people will be praying. Thank you. So to wrap up, how can people get connected with you on your website, social media, find all of your 
projects and book and everything? Yeah, I, the easiest way is just to go to ryanstevensonmusic.com. That's my main website. And from there, you can go to my online store. You can get my book. You can get my records. You can find me on Instagram, Twitter, blah, 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 blah all that stuff. So it's all, all right. there. Yep. Awesome. Well, hey, we will see you September 6th. It is a free outdoor concert. We're so excited to actually have a live show. It's going to be great. Same. I can't wait to see you guys. Yeah. Well, thanks, Ryan. No problem. Take care. See ya. Bye.